Hey guys, James Wilson Taylor here for Rock Sound. It's When We Were Young Festival 2022. I prevail on the lineup. Eric joins me now. How are you, man? I'm good, man. How have you been? Not too bad, man. Not too bad. It's really nice to see you. And again, what an event. Let's start with that. We've all been waiting for this for a long, long time, man. And I'm sure you must be particularly hyped because not only a few friends of yours on this lineup, but just such a legendary lineup. This has got to feel pretty cool to finally be here for it. It's a uh, little unbelievable, you know? Yeah. So it's, it's good to see some of these old friends we haven't seen. I just, the dudes from Neck Deep, I haven't seen them in five fucking five years man so it's, it's cool to see them see other friends you haven't seen in a long time and just uh, ready to throw some back and go watch some bands you know absolutely <laughs> as you well shit man and you've been back for a little minute now doing live shows which is really really nice to see what a stacked tour lineup that was by the way i mean like pierce the veil on there as well that's a double bill that anyone's going to want to see is pierce the veil and die prevail right there that's so so cool how's that been for you it's been great we start uh leg two actually starts today with uh some of the festivals and then we uh head out to la and uh phoenix in the next couple days and then onward but um it's been awesome uh they took us out five years ago and uh with neck deep actually and and uh had a had a blast and when we were booking this tour we were trying to see like you know who wanted to come out with us and put out feelers and we hit pierce up first and we're like you know it's i think it's it's their first tour back in five years yeah, it's and, been a minute. and uh they're just they've been the homies they're awesome dudes awesome people uh the show's been nuts Mo i think it's almost the whole tour is i think like 95 percent sold out and I think wow. we have like one day that's not sold out coming up, so it's it's been gnarly. Couldn't ask for anything more right there, for sure. And obviously the album's been out for a little minute now, which is really, really nice. And so lovely to see the reactions to that as well. Like the fans, it really has gone down very, very well. Um, talk to me about that, first of all, I suppose. You know, you must have noticed how well these songs have not just been going down well with the fan base, like online and stuff, but live too. It seems like it's kicking up, right? It's uh, it's fun. it's crazy, honestly, because like we worked on this record for two years and just lo like a slow burn, just just working these songs and pushing pushing the limits pushing the boundaries on on our, our creativity and trying new things and and having those two years to really live with these like creative decisions that we were making it wasn't like we we're just trying to rush something out to go tour it and uh putting the record out and then having this tour lined up uh, right after it um usually you know it's 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 um it's interesting to see how long a record needs to be out for fans to like engage with it and know all yeah. the words and Man, I tell you, the first week of the tour, the record was only out, I think, a month and a half. And we have kids screaming all these songs that we we're like, OK, this might be one of the deep cuts or whatever. And playing a bunch of the new stuff off this record on this tour, it's just it's it's insane. It's, it's just insane to see the, the love and the appreciation that our fans have for our, our music. And we just turn that around with the appreciation love we have for them and try to give them the best, show, best fucking show possible. It's so nice because I, I loved the ambition with this record for you guys as well, because, you know, you talked about it a lot in the mag and stuff as well, of course. But like just that approach of, yes, we want to push into new genre areas. Yes, we want to try new things. But at the end of the day, we're still a rock band. And I love that attitude. It's like, you know what? We know what we do incredibly well. Doesn't mean we can't push out a little bit as well and really kind of find that nice, that nice kind of middle ground in a way. I suppose it suits you really well, right? Right, yeah. I think um, it, it wasn't something that we were like keeping on our our brain when we were writing, but just trying to, to stand out from just the whatever genre you wanted to call us. Like some people call it metal rock, uh, metal core, whatever. And I think uh, there's a few other bands that are really leading the charge of like this modern metal kind of genre. Like uh, yeah. I'll throw out Bad Omens, Bring Me, or I think a two two bands that are doing the same Absolutely. thing pushing pushing boundaries and pushing limits and I think it's awesome you just get something new and fresh and I think that's what's to come from the two years that bands have been home that haven't been able to tour they've been to get to sit at home and instead of rushing a record out and then going to try and tour it you know a month or two later they're actually getting all this time to I'm hoping to see a renaissance, I guess, is what I'm trying to say over the next, you know, Aren't year or two. We're all yeah. hoping for a renaissance. Well, speaking to that, you know, obviously you took a couple of years on this one. Like you say, you took your time and obviously had time given the world. But, like, now moving forward, is it too early to talk about new music? Or are you already thinking about what that next step is going to look like? <laughs> I think when we went and spent this two years working on this record, once we got done and sent the record in, we were like, how in the hell are we gonna write anything new <laughs> anytime sure, sure. soon? I get soon, that. but but um, I don't know. Just always keeping your mind open and uh, inspiration and stuff. It's like, man, I'm, I think I'm ready to get in the studio to to put some ideas down. But I know it, it's not the ideas and the the things that we have in mind aren't aren't ready and fully developed yet. And, uh, you know what I mean? It's gonna yeah, take yeah, some yeah. time and age over it's this. Early days, but of this but it this is. record just came out. We got 15 tracks on. We got time. We got we got. I think we just squeezed everything out creatively that we had at the moment Nothing so it's gonna that. take a little bit no, a successful <laughs> way of doing it my successful way i'll let you go enjoy yourself in a second before i do finishing with this same question for everybody really like we say stacked lineup here if you could collab with like any single band on this lineup who's springing to mind who would the dream be on that lineup 
a lot of choice for you guys in particular, I think. That's that's tough. Um, personally, I would say uh, my chem. It's one of my obviously. I'm a popular choice. I, I'm gonna say like every person out here probably has the yeah, same yeah, 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 has yeah, the yeah, same yeah. answer. But that that uh, that band was is still top five. That Black Parade record still top three in my my personal. So I, I I'd say that. But as a band, I feel like. I feel like Paramore would be cool. Bring Me would be another awesome one to do a collab with. Very, but very um, well. I, it's hard to say. I could feel, you know, I feel like with our music, we we spread we spread ourselves all all over the board from mm. something heavy electronic to rock down the middle to the piano ballad, so, like all over the board. So I feel like we could just, you know, really yeah, just do it up. with anyone. Yeah, you're spoiled for choice, man. That's a good yeah. position to be in. I like that. <laughs> yeah. uh, enjoy your day. Enjoy Thank the you. tour. We will catch up with you again very soon. I'm sure. Sounds right? good, man. You enjoy the day too, man. I will. I will try my best. Hell yeah. Really well. All right, Eric, everybody. <laughs>